and welcome back to my channel and if this is your first time here then hi my name is Lauren and on my channel we mostly talk about anything luxury but we also discuss lifestyle and beauty so if you're interested in any of these topics please consider subscribing to my channel and we'll get started with the video So in today's video, I'm presenting you another fake versus real video, this time featuring the Louis Vuitton Wonderland Flat Ranger boots. My latest fake versus real video was on the Chanel 19 handbag. So if you are interested in seeing that one, then I will go ahead and leave it in the little information link over here for you to see it. But if you just want to fast forward to these boots, then please keep on watching. So first, let's start with the packaging as always, and here I'm pretty sure that the camera is going to speak for itself. So obviously I am holding the real box in this hand over here, and then this is the fake one. There is first of all a massive difference in terms of weight. Um, the real box is a lot more sturdy and it's a lot larger. Um, so again, it's here than the fake one. This one first of all arrived damaged, so as you can see it doesn't look in the best shape of its life. And then it is a box with a lid that lifts off and it's not that standard mechanism from LV. From LV you just have to pull on this side, over here you pull the little blue strap. Um, so that is a difference. And then another one again is the writing. I think that this also speaks for itself. to consider when looking at the packaging is obviously the dust bag especially when it comes to shoes I think that these are really really useful when you want to transport your shoes on vacation for example when you've previously worn them and then you don't want to make your suitcase dirty or make the rest of your clothes dirty so here we have the dust bag for the real one by the way for the real shoes they came with two dust bags so one for each shoe um, the material is very very soft, it's very thick and then the closing system is again the little blue strap that you use to pull and then we have the fake one which only came with one dust bag and it looks like this. Um, this is obviously very very different, I think that in general the material really isn't as nice. There's only one and when we're looking at the type of shoe that it is, I just don't believe that it could actually fit them. Um, so this would be really something interesting to look at, but I mean just from like the handwriting itself and I think the quality of the product, I'm not sure if it shows if I'm just holding like this, but I mean yeah I think we pretty much can see that that's a massive difference right here. Now let's look at what I will call the things that the boots came with. So if we're looking at the real ones, they actually came with, uh, this is actually the right way, they actually came with spare laces, which is always very, very useful, especially for like um, people like me who are super clumsy and like spill a ton of stuff. This may be useful in the future, so I really appreciate that. And then when we're looking at the fake ones, the fake ones came with two things. We have a little booklet with care instructions and then there is a certificate of authenticity. And this is the funniest stuff ever, you'll see in the close-ups. There's actually like four or five grammatical mistakes in French on it. Um, so I'm not sure if they needed somebody to test their product or if they needed a French professor. Uh, but I can definitely be both. <laughs> uh, but yeah, uh, I think that they mixed like a bunch of probably Italian and then French and then didn't use the right spaces. But I mean, it is pretty, pretty funny. All 
right, so now let's look at the shoes themselves. And I'm regretting this video already because it's giving me an arm workout at second number two. But anyway, let's try to guess which ones the real ones are. Can you tell? So the real ones are in this hand and then in this hand we have the fake ones. And we'll start with really the biggest giveaway, the thing that in my mind makes the most difference. And I will say that it is the color of the monogram. So obviously both have the monogram pattern, but there is a difference in color. So the real ones which are here have this kind of like dark brown monogram. Whereas the fake ones which again are here have this lighter brown color to it. There's also a difference in the finish of the monogram. So if we're looking at the real ones, which are here, the finish is very shiny. And when we're looking at the fake ones, it's very like kind of matte, uh, which is really unexpected. The next big difference is the sizing and the proportions of the front part. So if we look at the front part of the boots, both have this like black protective front to them and that makes sense. But for the real ones, which again are here, um, the black part is a lot shorter and is a lot smaller proportionate to the shoes than in the fake ones, which are here. It really takes a big chunk on the boots on the fake ones. to look at the general sizing of the shoes because obviously these are shoes they're meant to be worn so for the real ones which are here I'm usually a size 39 and these are a size 39 they fit me perfectly it's not too snug not too big it's very very comfortable and they're pretty true to size and then for the fake ones which are here I got a size 39 thinking that it was going to be exactly the same as the LV ones because that is the goal of it after all and actually they are too small for me, I can't wear them, I tried and tried and tried but they simply don't fit. There's actually a big 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 difference if we're putting the shoes heel to heel and looking at the difference, so I'm going to do that. And as you can see, massive difference. Um, so the real ones which are on this side are a lot bigger than the fake ones which are on this side. There is at least, at least one centimeter difference which basically for me is like, you know, a size difference. So I would say that the, the fake ones, which again are here, are probably closer to a size 38 and therefore unfortunately don't fit me. So next up we are comparing the V closure systems and here there isn't really a difference in terms of design. I think that it is pretty much the same or in terms of how well it works. I think that both work really well, but there is a difference in the shade of gold hardware, if that makes sense. So if we are looking at the real ones, which are here, the shade of gold hardware is like pure gold hardware, like something normal that you would expect. Um, and then if we're looking at the fake ones, which are here, the gold is much more faded. It is much lighter. So it kind of resembles champagne gold hardware from Chanel. to the laces now and as you can tell the comparison is becoming a little bit more in-depth 
So I'm pretty sure that you'll be able to get a closer look and a clearer look when we do close-ups. I think it will be more apparent, but keep in mind that for the real ones, which are here, the laces are pretty thick and are pretty like sturdy. And it's pretty much the same for the fake ones, which are here. Really the main difference is the kind of finish, the laces. So if we're looking at the real ones, which are here, there's kind of like a matte finish uh, versus the fake ones, which are here, there's a very shiny finish to the laces. more in depth let's look at the larger picture the kind of overall feel of the boots and if we look at the real ones which are here the quality of the material is very very apparent the boots are very kind of like thick and sturdy the leather is really kind of actually difficult to break into to be honest and then if we look at the fake ones which are here there is a massive massive difference in the thickness of the material I would say it's at least three times less thick than the real ones, which is a massive difference. And I think that's definitely going to impact, you know, the longevity of the boots and the quality. I think that in the plus side of that, um, it's probably a lot easier to break them in. I think that for the real ones, it honestly took me uh, maybe a week or two. So not like horrible, horrible, but at first they weren't like the comfiest of the shoes. Um, but here I'm guessing that it might be a little bit easier to break them into. But again, don't forget, I can't actually wear them because they are not my size. And lastly, the last thing to say about the fake ones, and this is something that won't appear on the close-ups because it's not something that you can see. It has to do with the smell. And honestly, as soon as I opened the box, it smelled so bad, like so bad. It was kind of like burning tires, if you can imagine. And I don't think that I'm really sensitive to smells at all. Actually, I've had a nose job surgery. And since then, uh, my sense of smell has kind of diminished by like 50%. So sometimes when my friends will be telling me, oh, do you smell that? And I'm like, no, what does it smell like? Uh, but here it was so bad. So if it's so bad for me, it's like unbearable for most people. Um, so the smell of rubber is really, really bad. It's not something that I was expecting at all, but it's really kind of annoying. So I guess that if you are planning on wearing the fake ones, which again are here, I would definitely advise to spray them with something. I'm not sure what, maybe perfume, maybe some kind of like leather spray or something, but just something. Cause right now it's pretty much unbearable. I have them close to my face right now. I'm like, mm, no. <laughs> So in conclusion, to sum up everything, I would say that this is actually a pretty bad fake. Very honestly, it's one of the worst that I've seen and it's not like I'm an expert, but I've seen a couple by now and these ones were really, really bad. Um, of course, there are shoes and I think that that's kind of like the way that they are able to quote, save themselves is because when you're looking at someone in the street, you don't have your eyes 10 centimeters away from their shoes. Of course, your eyes will never get that close to their shoes. So you might not be able to notice, that is for sure. But I think that if it was something like a handbag or a belt or something that you know would feel a little bit more natural getting close to, you could definitely be able to tell because I just haven't been very, very impressed with this fake. I don't think that the quality is there. I don't think it actually resembles that closely the real ones. And so in my mind, I'm like, what's the point? You know, I can get like, I don't know, Hunter rain boots or something like that, or any kind of other boots that cost like $100. Um, but not these ones because I feel like, you know, people either might be able to notice or at least I would know and I would know that it's a bad fake and this would bother me. But still, if you are interested in purchasing them, then I will go ahead and leave the link to their website and to the boots in the description box down below. Oh, and then before I forget, I've also received a couple of other items from the same, I don't know how that's called, like fake factory or whatever. Um, and these actually look a lot more legit and a lot better. Um, I've only taken like a super quick look, but I will be releasing those videos on my channel. So stay tuned for that. So that's it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this video was informational and I hope that you had fun going through learning how to spot the differences with me. 
I love doing these fake versus real videos. They were one of my favorite videos to film. I think it's like both fun and interesting and we always learn something new. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you in my next one.